In this video, we're going to demonstrate the basic process of DNA electrophoresis. Steps will include preparing electrophoresis buffer, preparing and casting agarose gels, loading the DNA samples with a fluorescent stain, using electrophoresis for separating the DNA. We're going to use a blue light transilluminator for visualizing the DNA in the gel. And finally, we're going to take pictures using an imaging enclosure. During the demonstration, we'll be featuring some new products from Acuras Instruments and Benchmark Scientific, including the MyGel Mini Electrophoresis System, the Smart Glow DNA Stain, Smart Blue Transilluminator, and our Smart Dock Imaging Enclosure. Materials needed include buffer concentrate, either TAE or TBE, distilled water, and agarose powder. Also needed will be DNA samples and DNA markers or ladders. In our case, for our demonstration, we'll only be separating DNA markers on our gel, and we'll also need some DNA stain so the DNA can be visualized once separated on the agarose gel. For laboratory safety, we'll be using gloves, a hot mitt, and safety glasses. For equipment, we'll need a laboratory balance for weighing out the agarose powder, a microwave for heating up the agarose solution, and also a power supply and gel box for the electrophoresis separation. Additional equipment needed includes pipettes and pipette tips, a transilluminator, and an imaging system if you want to take any pictures of your resulting gel. Some optional items include a mini centrifuge for spinning down small amounts of reagents and a benchtop cooler for keeping temperature sensitive reagents cold on the lab bench. Our first step is to make 1x TAE buffer using our 10x TAE concentrate. To make 500 ml of 1x TAE, first we're going to measure 50 ml of the 10x concentrate. We'll add this measured quantity to a clean flask. And then we're going to bring the volume up to 500 ml using distilled water. Then gently mix the solution. The next step is to make our agarose solution. We're going to be using the Acuras 100G Mini Balance to weigh out some agarose powder. Here, we're making a 1.5% agarose solution, which is suitable for the size range of DNA we'll be separating. First, we weigh out 1.5 grams of agarose powder. Pour the agarose powder into a clean flask. Add some of our 1x buffer to bring the volume up to 100 ml. It's very important to mix the solution thoroughly so all of the agarose powder is completely dissolved. Next, the agarose solution is going to be heated in the microwave. One point five to two minutes at maximum power is usually sufficient. Make sure the solution comes to a full boil and carefully remove the flask using your hot mitt. Check to make sure the agarose is dissolved completely and the liquid is perfectly clear. The next step is to prepare your gel casting equipment. We're using the Acuras MyGel casting set that comes with the MyGel system. It's important to let your gel solution cool to about 60 degrees before pouring, otherwise you can warp the gel trays. Carefully pour the gels to a thickness of about 4 millimeters. Pour carefully and try to prevent any bubbles forming inside the gels. Any bubbles that do form can be removed quickly with a pipette tip. Now put your combs into place and let the gel cool for about 20 minutes.
Once the gels have solidified, it's time to remove the combs. First, pour a small amount of buffer on top of the gels. This will facilitate removal of the combs. Gently pull the combs straight up and out of the gel, being careful not to tear them. The gels can now be transferred to the running tank. Remember to put the gels in the right orientation. The DNA will be running from the negative side to the positive side of the tank. Next, add the 1x buffer to the running tank. Slowly pour the buffer into one end of the tank until the buffer fills both reservoirs. There is enough buffer in the tank when both reservoirs are filled and there is a small amount of buffer covering the gel. The next step is to prepare the reagents. First, we spin them down in a mini centrifuge. This brings all of the reagents to the bottom of the tubes for easier pipetting. The reagents we're using for this demonstration are two different types of DNA markers and some DNA stain. Here we're going to pipette 5 microliters of our DNA marker into clean tubes. In this case, we're using a PCR strip, so we have 8 tubes to work with. For this demonstration, we're using Smart Glow Loading Dye Stain, and we're going to be adding one microliter to each five microliters of DNA ladder. After adding all of our markers and DNA stain to our tubes, we're going to again spin them down in a mini centrifuge to get all of the droplets to the bottom. Now we pipette our samples into the gel wells. After all of the samples are loaded, connect the power cord to the back of the power supply and switch on the power. The voltage can be set by pressing the voltage select button on the MyGel power supply. We're going to run the gel at 100 volts for 30 minutes. When current is running through the buffer, small bubbles can be seen coming off of the anode and cathode electrodes in either side of the gel tank. Also, you will see that the dye front will be moving in front of your DNA. At the end of the run, press the start stop button and turn off the electrical power. You can now remove the lid and remove your gels. Now it's time to view your separated DNA. The gels can be removed from the gel trays by gently pushing on one end. We're using the Acurus Smart Blue Transilluminator. This illuminator emits a blue light at 465 nanometers, which is ideal for excitation of most safe green stains, such as the Smart Glow stain that we've added to our samples. The blue light excites the Smart Glow stain that has been attached to the DNA molecules. 
The orange filter cover on the illuminator blocks the blue light and allows us to clearly view the fluorescing DNA bands. The orange cover can be placed flat on top of the viewing surface or angled to allow access to the gels. Our final step is to document our results by taking pictures of the gels. We're using the Acurus SmartDoc imaging enclosure and a 590 nanometer narrow band pass filter. This special filter blocks the blue light and allows high quality photography of the fluorescing DNA bands using an iPhone or other smartphone with camera. Thanks for watching. For additional information, please visit our website, accurus-usa.com.